Hey everybody and welcome back to Hopping to Hope, the channel dedicated to education and advocacy for bunnies. Rescue isn't always stories of rehabilitation and finding forever homes. In this video, I want to show you the side of rescue that often gets hidden away from the public. It's filled with a lot of hard work and emotions. I encourage you to be cautious with your heart in this video. Please watch until the end to understand why we continue to rescue in the face of heartbreak. All right, everyone. Um, I'm off to go and rescue a baby bunny. Uh, I'm gonna set up a carrier and then just pop up to where the bunny is. Apparently the entire litter was possibly eaten by dogs except for this bunny. So bunny might not make it. I'll just have a look when I see the bunny. So here we go. This is the baby. I think he or she's having a little sleep at the moment. They've been falling asleep whilst eating the loosen, which is so cute. And I quickly popped up and got some goat's milk. So I will document this journey, I guess, of this beautiful little baby bunny who's, I think, asleep. <laughs> Just had some food. So here we go. This is going to be an interesting experience. I have done babies before, but unfortunately they didn't survive because they were too way too young to be away from their mother. So it'll be nice to feed a bunny that's already stable. I'll go make the milk now. I've given, I cleaned out um, baby bunny's eyes. Um, I'm not concerned at all. It's just a little, just a little junk. Um, we had a cuddle and then I gave him some milk or her, we don't know the gender. Um, and they drank it. Um, I've popped some grass in as well as some origins some Veta Farm Origins pellets and some loosen hay. And I'm gonna set up a little dog crate for Bunny. Um, he or she's finally starting to show a little bit more signs of life, I think. Was probably in shock, was probably scared and probably exhausted from whatever they went through. So hopefully soon they'll start to be a bit more active. Okay, so now we've moved from the carrier into a container. The container is not ideal, but I'm just going to do this for overnight. Bunny won't move around a lot because they're just so absolutely exhausted. Um, he's eating, he or she is eating and drinking, so I'm really happy with that. Poops will come. I don't know how long the bunny didn't have um, food for, so it takes about six hours to pass through the gut. So um, by tonight, should be pooping. I'm not super concerned at the moment. Bunny's drinking milk as well, which is really good. That's really hard to film, but I'll try and film it next time. So yeah, I've got a little cover over the top. It's just time for the bunny to rest and relax and I'll set up a tub cage maybe tomorrow when they're moving around a little bit more. All right, sorry about the quality of this, but remember my last video, I said always keep fur. Uh, yeah, this is why, because I can use some of this amazing fur just to make a little nest in this container for the baby. Now, the baby might not use it because I don't exactly know the age, but it's 
you know, it's cold at the moment because it's raining um, a lot. So this way we can keep the we can keep the baby nice and warm. Baby's currently snuggled up to me, but when baby's not snuggled, it can we can make a nest. So I'm just gonna pop that in here. Pop it actually in the corner. Sorry. I'm just gonna pop this in the corner. This will be nice and insulated for the baby. He's just here. So exhausted. Aren't you, baby? It's been a big day. I noticed that the baby had stopped eating and seemed a lot weaker. I offered the baby some food, some milk and water, and they weren't taking it. So I decided to keep the baby against my chest to keep them warm. I took a video of the baby unable to keep their own body weight up, which greatly worried me. I knew things were going downhill really fast. I'm going to try feeding, but I don't know if that's going to happen. When bunnies come into a rescue of any kind, we often don't know their past history. All I knew about this baby bunny was that it stumbled into a yard that had a dog who was barking at it. There were no visible signs that the bunny had been hurt or was sick. Pumpkin was eating and drinking up until a short time before they passed. I can't say for certain why the bunny died. It could have been internal injuries that we were unaware of. All I know is that they died in my arms, warm, inside a home, with someone who loved them and not cold and alone outside in the rain. So I'm just trying to find a spot to bury the baby. I have babies over here. This is part of the rescue you don't see. And I'm going to share it with you. You won't see anything graphic. Um, but I just want to share the side you don't see. So I'm thinking I'm going to do just here. I'm going to dig a hole now. I don't throw rescue the way in the bin. I, I always bury them. They deserve more than that. This little baby was loved, even if it was for a short time. Rescue is hard. It's a lot of sad moments that we deal with behind the scenes. Rescue is also beautiful. I have had the privilege of being with many bunnies in their final moments. Bunnies that would have been alone otherwise. So this is the side of rescue you don't often see. And I think you have a right to experience what we do in its heartbreaking beauty. It's an honor to help bunnies no matter what the outcome is. It just makes those happy endings even sweeter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a hard one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and share it with your friends. Until next time. Bye, everybody.